babes, hey babes, hey babes, hey babes, hey babes. Hey babes, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for being here. It's Tuesday, so you already know we're at Dollar General to go penny hunting. And if you don't already, be sure to follow me on Instagram so that you always get the penny list as soon as I post it. Now if you do follow me on Instagram, then you saw that this week's penny list starting December 21st is Harvest Home, Harvest Seasonal, and Harvest Party. So I grabbed a cart and we're heading right to the aisle. And... As soon as I turn into the aisle, you'll see I stop in my tracks. I notice the bins. So the bins mean that they are already starting to pull the items off the shelf. But I asked the store manager and he gave me permission that if it's on the sales floor, then I can look through the bins. So I only look through the top couple ones because I didn't want to make a mess. So this is what I was able to find. Now I have gotten a lot of questions about what it looks like when a penny item rings up in the app. So I'm going to show you here. I'm going to scan a couple items and just show you. So you go up to the barcode and we're going to grab a tag and just scan it. So ever since they did an update, it comes up as 000. And most of the time, if it is on the penny list and it is the same UPC and it's ringing up like this, that it is a penny. So I'm going to go ahead and scan one more item. This is my favorite find that I found and it says three dollars but we're gonna scan it and it's coming up zero 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 now if you're like me and lucky enough to have a price scanner in store that will give you the accurate price so I'm heading over to my scanner and I'm gonna show you guys exactly what that will look like it, now it is pretty rare that a store will have a scanner but if you're one of the few then that is one of the best little tricks to make sure that the items are a penny scan it and as you can see it's a penny and and again I'm just going to show you a few more items that I scanned now even though I scan all the items in the app I check the penny list to make sure that the UPC is accurate I still do this third step just to be sure that it is a penny because I get nervous I still have anxiety even though I've been doing this for a few years and lastly I'm gonna scan this item and as you can see it's a penny Remember, if you don't have a price scanner in your store, no worries. Just match the UPC on the tag to the UPC on the penny list and make sure they match. And then scan it in the app. If it comes up 000, then you should be good to go. Lastly, before we check out, I know that a lot of you, whether you're starting out penny shopping or you've been doing it for a while, I know a lot of times it causes anxiety. I've been doing this a few years and I still get anxiety when I go to check out. And one of the things that you guys always, always ask me is what do they say to you when you check out with all these penny items? Have you had any bad experiences? Do they refuse to sell it to you? And I haven't had an experience like that, but just listen to what this cashier said to me while I was checking out. Are they a penny? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. So as you can see, the cashiers at my store are so chill and so nice, and I'm so grateful for them because I know not everyone has that experience. But I ended up paying 21 cents after tax, and now we're going to go home, and I'm going to show you the haul of everything I was able to get. Hey babes, so I'm back home and here's a little overview of my penny finds today. And as you can see, someone's getting very comfy on one of my items. So this is the pumpkin patch pillow that I found. Hi <laughs> Bean. This is Chino. Say hi Chino. Say hi. So now I'm going to show you guys the items and then their UPC so that you can look at your store. So for the pillow, 
This is what the tag looks like. Decorative pillow, 16 inches by 16 inches. This is the UPC. So keep in mind, put this number here, how I showed you earlier in the video, and that's how you'll be able to see if this is in stock at your store. So next we have, I love fall most of all, and here's the UPC for this. Oops. This one's really, really cute. I love the color on this, and this is the UPC for that. And you can also take screenshots of this video, so you can search these and remember what they are. So next, I got these mini pumpkins, and these are the tan ones. And this is what the tag looks like. And then this is the UPC for it. Now, even though this is the same as this, they are different colors, so they are going to have different UPCs. So I got four of those, and then this one's very, very cute. It's a little heavy, too. Um, and this tag also looks like this. And then the UPC for that. So remember, just like I showed you guys, um, put this number, starting with the four and ending with the nine, into the search bar of the barcode thing, and you'll be able to see if it's in stock at your store. Next, I got these napkins. This is what the sticker looks like and the UPC. Next, this pumpkin, which also does that. Let me turn off the light and then I'll do it. Ooh, <laughs> Tino's right there. That actually looks really cool in the dark. All right, so let's continue. This was really cool though. Um, so these, I use these and I put them on like our front door and our back door. I'm not sure what they're actually made for though. Um, but this is what the tag looks like. And then this is what the UPC looks like. And don't mind the chips in my nails. I need to paint them. My husband always says, do you want some salsa to go with that those chips? So embarrassing. <laughs> um, so then I also got this tablecloth and this was the most expensive item i think um is ten dollars originally they're all a penny obviously okay so the next item is this fabric cloth originally it was ten dollars this is what it looks like and this is the upc for it and a lot of times so if you see this on it f21 that means fall 21 so you could also look on the harvest items for that if you're not sure so these are old penny items i believe these are yes they are the red dot that pennied maybe a month ago a couple weeks ago and in the video you hear my homie ask if i want them and i was like of course so there's this little cute sign wash brush brush floss rinse and it was originally five dollars this is let me move it what the upc looks like and if you watched my first penny shopping video then you know old pennies it is possible to find them sometimes it's just a little harder but as you can see the red dots that penny to well are still in store so it doesn't hurt to check so then this mat happiness has paws it looks like this originally five dollars and this is the upc for it and this s21 was for spring 21 and then this one this one's actually really cute um wipe your paws and it was originally ten dollars and this is the upc and as you can see again s21 So that is our little haul. I forgot to end the video, but thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, babes. Hey, babes.